The world's simplest paper airplane is a piece of paper and a paper clip. That's it. No folds required. You'll need a standard number one paper clip and some 20 pound or 75 to 80 GSM bond paper. The paper needs to be cut into a flat 3 inch or 7.5 centimeter square. The best way to make a flat square is cut with an X-Acto knife and straight edge on a flat cutting surface. Scissors work, but you may have to flatten the paper after cutting. A shear works better and makes measuring easy if you keep the measured part on the cutting table. After you cut the square, look at it from the edges and make it flat. It's best if the inner loop of the paper clip sticks out a tiny bit on one side. If it doesn't, you might pick another paper clip or bend it slightly so it does. Hold that side of the paper clip up and slide it onto the corner of the square so the small loop ends up on top. If the small loop ends up on the bottom, just flip the paper over so it is on top. Make sure the paper clip is all the way on the square and lined up to the diagonal of the square. Hold the paper clip between your thumb and one finger that just cover up the paper clip, like this, and pinch it just enough to form a very shallow bowl shape in the paper, like this. Look at it from the front and the back and carefully bend the paper until it is exactly the same on both sides. Here are some ways to form the paper. Sometimes it takes several tries, and then you bend the paper too far. Other times it's easier to just bend the other side. You'll learn what works with a little practice. For now, just do the best you can. Now test it. The paper clip goes in front, and the bowl shape goes on top. Handle it carefully so you don't make it change shape. Here are two ways to launch it. Try both and use what works best. You can set it on your hand and give it a slow underhanded throw, stopping your hand so it slides off. Or hold it at its center between your thumb and finger and throw very slowly, aim down about 35 or 40 degrees. If it turns, it might not be the same on both sides. Look at it from the front or back. Notice the difference and carefully make it the same on both sides, especially near the wingtips. Then fly it again. If you can't get it right after several minutes, just make another one. It may take a few tries to get it right. It can be hard to trim the wing's curvature. However, the good trim skills needed here are also needed for the best duration and distance gliders. Making something simple often comes at a price. It's conceptually easier than folding, but harder to trim the wing's curvature. Similarly, it's harder to make an F-22 fly well without cutting and taping. You can pinch a paper clip onto rectangles like these. Make sure you measure and put it exactly in the middle. You'll have to test fly it to figure out how far it needs to stick out in front of a larger piece of paper. If it porpoises, it probably needs more weight in front, so you would slide the paper clip farther forward or use a bigger paper clip. If it dives or glides too steep, you may need to slide the clip farther back or use a smaller paper clip. Try different paper and clip sizes and clip locations to see what works best. Once you master the technique, it won't take long to make one. I'm James Onker, a non-traditional designer and Guinness record setter in paper aviation. To see more, see the comments and links below this video.